upon legions of unborn infants. The pain rips through you, obliterating all thought, all feeling. First time in a long time, your thoughts are entirely your own. And then, gravity. Everything you did, everything you sacrificed, it was worth it for this. Brain is defeated. 
Along with the grand design, praise Mother Gith. My powers, they're draining. Just like Mazora said they would. A small price to pay in the grand scheme of things. We did it. The nether brain is dead. I can't feel the tadpole. They must have all died with the brain. That means I can't turn into a mind flayer. Not that there's necessarily anything wrong with being a mind flayer, of course. You do? Well, all the better then, I suppose. I will ensure that all Githyanki know your name and your sacrifice. What you have done today will start a fire that rages across the astral plane. With their lost prince returned, my people will burn away Vlakith's corruption. And it is all thanks to you, the Illithid who defied a nether brain. As you wish, my savior. People are leaving, and I must leave with them. Come, Lazel. We will free the Githyanki and dismantle the Empire. Let them be imprisoned no longer. Jacques Vonfindu, source of my joy, you honor me. An illithid ally. It would be most unorthodox, but advantageous. To look more veer, brother in freedom, I welcome you to the fight. Orpheus, I am ready. Julius! Juthas! begins. It's over, and it's all because of you. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire, no death god's tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. You are the saviors of Baldur's Gate. While navigating the disordered environs of Limbo, you and Lazel heard the summons, a telepathic emanation. You are accustomed to receiving dispatches and battle orders from the Githyanki rebel forces in this form. But this was different. An invitation 
to a gathering of friends, those allies who stood with you against the Netherbrain, those who thwarted the grand design, those who made your war against Vlacketh's tyranny possible. You cannot join them in person, but you shall be with them again nonetheless to project your image through the cosmos. Such is the skill of the Prince of the Comet. You have no doubt it can be done. Thou wert called here, some from above, some below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning when it threatened to halt. Though thou wert drawn far apart in the months after the collapse of the Absolute, tonight fate renews thy bond once more. Thou shouldst take care to preserve it. It is a great weapon wielded in the hand of good. Go. Know one another once more. To not overindulge ah, tonight. There Lest you I are. lose control and slip into bear form. For two months we trained as Knights of the Comet. For two more we skewered Kithraki bellies. And for two more yet we traveled through limbo. It has taken all of Orpheus's efforts to conjure our projections here, and all of mine to convince him to let us come. Worth it, I'd say. Right here, right now, there's no other place I'd sooner be. Enjoy your night, chatter away, for tomorrow we face Zareth Menya Agith. Zareth Menya Agith. How well you know the name. The immortal god king of the Gith Sarai, and the ruler of their capital. And how glad you are that the plain of Limbo remains untouched by the sun. I do. Minyaragith is an ascetic. He reached out in good faith. He will aid us if we meet him in the same spirit, my love. Love. The word hangs in the air for a moment before Lazel continues, unfazed. And if he refuses, we carry on. Gravity pulls us in but one direction. We are warriors of the Comet. We will blaze forth until we burn Vlacket's bones to ash and smash her phylactery to pieces. And when the Comet has risen, we will be forever together, as surely as Kalir will forever circle the sun. Until I knew you, I thought the mere idea a joke. A weakness indulged only by lesser species. You proved me a fool. I am forever grateful. Gods, I must look a mess. I just rolled out from under a pesky ogre when Withers yanked me in. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean... Well, I didn't mean that. I just gutted the ogre, not... Yeah. How about I change the subject before I dig this hole any deeper? You look positively perfect. 
if a bit shimmery at the edges. To your relief, your projection holds. It took a dozen Gish's talents, a few stolen Psy crystals, and two ten days of effort to conjure it. You can touch, taste, and talk, but your fleshy body is in limbo, the home of the mystical Githzerai. Once, the Githzerai were one with the Githyanki, until bloody civil war severed the Gith species. The Githzerai god king, Menyar Agith, sent word through the cosmos. He knows of your rebellion, and he's agreed to parley. Should the Githzerai join you, you could vanquish Flaketh in a red dragon's blink. How fares the comet's path? I wager you've cracked open more Kithraki heads than you could possibly count. Diplomacy. Not so different from fighting, I find. You still grip your blade, you just hide it beneath a silken glove. How you thrill in the blade's hunt. The trolls I've torn open, the ghouls I've cleaved, the stories I've been itching to tell. <laughs>